fellas, welcome back to the channel. We're almost at a million subs. Incredible. Soon, TM. Best sandwich ever. Best grilled cheese sandwich coming right up. We're almost there, fellas. One word. Battleships. In War Thunder. I'm playing War Thunder right now. Battleships in War Thunder. What a ride Naval has been. Okay? This is all we thought we were... By the way, I love what they did with the Coastal and the Blue Water Fleet. Then they'll have the Deep Water Fleet, if you know what I'm saying. Ping. Anyways, I love what they did here. I'm interested to see how this is going to change some of the gameplay and the mechanics of it. But we're not really interested in that today. We're interested in the battleships. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I need to finish my other thought. When Naval was first here, we had... Um, Verbal wins on water. And let me tell you, it was an absolute blast for probably about 13 matches till you really realized what was going on. A lot of... Naval's had a really strange spot in War Thunder. And I really feel like if they did just Battle Stations Midway game mode, it would be cool. You know, a lot of things sound cool when you think about it for 20 seconds. I'm just saying they should do something like that in the in the future. Or maybe I just want a new Battle battle Stations game to come out. Anyways, this has been a long road. It's here. We have battleships in War Thunder. What does this mean for Naval? Do you think this isn't really going to change much of your opinion about Naval? Do you think this is going to be a viable, enjoyable game mode like ARB is? That was a joke. Or just the other, you know, tank RB and arcade and stuff like that. Let me know comments below. Okay, so I'm going to show you all of them. Then we're going to check them out individually. And then maybe have a good little shoot or two with them. Maybe get into a custom battle. How about that? Okay, United States of America. We have the USS North Dakota, which is a Delaware class. Yeah, Delaware class battleship, second class or second gen dreadnought, if you will. Pretty much, it's the most. I, I can't say that the Russian one is actually extremely well designed, at least for video game prowess. This is um, this one has the most guns other than the Russians at in, in one salvo. This has two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, keep that in mind. Next up, we have the BF one hundred nine K four. We have the text message he Helgoland, the SMS he Helgoland. And I got to say, out of all of them, and I didn't think I would feel this way, I like the look of this one the best. And the main reason is, is just the superstructure, how it blends into the turrets of the guns. This one has a kind of, I want to say European setup for the guns. Actually, I can't say that. This one has kind of the cliche dreadnought setup, or at least side guns like this. Two, four, six, eight in one salvo. And sorry about that. Let's just look inside or look at the gun performance right now because we're talking about guns and it kind of makes sense. We want to know what it wants to do. 305 millimeter. Jeez Louise. Muscle velocity is only 800 meters a second. That feels kind of slow, but we are pushing a huge shell downrange. 487 at a thousand meters away, we can probably expect engagements. I'm assuming in Warthon around 12, eight kilometers. So around 260, 290 millimeters of pen, at least for battleships. Wow. The 30 degrees is just crazy. There's so much weight this thing has. Uh, TNT equivalent, 11.76. Can we get a protection analysis on this shell. I'm just, just, oh. Wow, no, this thing doesn't damage anything. What if I go like this? Because it needs to go in there. Let's see, let's see what it does. Yeah, that's, oh, wow. Yeah, that's ammo. Be interesting to see how the ammo racks work in this. Oh, that just stopped it flat out. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe there's internal armor. That shrapnel and explosive right through the fuel. 
Hmm. Okay. Let's look at high. Do we have any high explosive with this stuff? No, we don't. Not not for right now. Okay. Let's go look at the Germany German one. Wow. Okay. This one has high explosive. It's um 27 kilograms. Very nice. Germany has a much stronger round in terms of explosive mass and penetrations. Moving on. Now these are, just in, for video game's sake, these are really well-designed World War I ships. Okay, this is the Poltava 6.0. 12 inch turrets. Germany has, or excuse me, Russia has two battleships. 305, so it has HE, 47 kilograms. Wow. I feel like this would penetrate more in 91 millimeters of armor. Just saying. 12 inch AP, 520, on par with the German SAP. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 55.2 kilograms of explosive mass. Things are going to get really weird. What do you think is the future? Of, like, are, are we going up to like Iowa class? Because I'm telling you right now, we're going to have missile cruisers in War Thunder. And sea whizzes. And yeah, we're going to have cold water in War Thunder. It actually might work surprisingly well. On to Great Britain, we have the HMS Colossus, which is a 6.0 battleship. Then the famous HMS Dreadnought. Little bit different than the Colossus. Tonnage. Colossus is a little bit heavier. Sorry. 22 displacement, 24 displacement. Only 11 tons displacement? That's not right, right? <laughs> right? Okay, moving on to uh, Japan. Uh, battle cruisers are confirmed. We have one battle cruiser right here. Lightly armored, 15 tons. Only has two main guns. Tons of secondaries, though. And still, no anti air anywhere to be seen. Maybe these guys? Kawachi class. We all know this one. And go to China. Just kidding. Okay. So let's uh, let, let's go ahead and take our first test sail out here, okay? I actually want to go with the Russian one just because... Hang on. Let's get the sap online. All right, guys. Here, here goes the first battleship sh uh, shooting. Oh, she's massive. Uh, let's go to secondaries. Nothing's firing yet. Okay. Let's turn off all, all of these. We'll, 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 we'll just disintegrate this Snell boot. Doesn't look like the new animations are for naval yet. But that can change. Reload rate's not bad. Think of it like a KV-2 on water with twice the caliber. Now, this should be a one shot. I wish the guns were a little bit like more girthy though. Like these almost, I mean like, like the, the Russian cruisers with the 180 millimeter ones. They sound a little more girthy in these. Yeah, though, sounds like eight inches. Yeah, that's an ammo rack and a half. Still alive. It's just there's no way to come back from that. That ship is completely toast. It's going to start taking waters. You can see the holes in it. Now, we're going to use sap here in a second. I just want to see what will happen to a cone, right? No, oh, an admiral. Well, that guy is still working. I don't know. I don't think that ship's doing well at all. Let's try the cone real quick. Oh, 
Oh, I'm moving? Oh, man, I just had some, some weird, like, trippy. Anyways, impact. That's what I expected HE to do. Maybe a little bit more on the uh, the crew. We hit here, but none of this shrapnel made it into here. Now, there is protection and stuff. But I wonder how they're going to... Okay, there goes that ship. I mean, but, like, is it is it a trade against these fast-firing ships that can... That can ugh. That can completely douse your ship with high explosive and whatnot. Okay, on to sap. Splashdown. It is cool to see the ammo racks take place, though. Whoa. No anti-air at all. I don't want to shoot at him because I don't want him to kill me. Waiting for the guns to rotate. North Car or yeah, no, sorry. North Dakota is smoking. Okay, we'll do it right now. Let's range for this. Yes, the new, the new animations. Okay, that is just pretty looking. That guy just got nailed. Okay, we're ready. This might be the final thing in the coffin. Yeah, you guys know what I'm saying? The Helena is sinking a little bit. Our shells, are those our shells? Those are our shells. We've got some direct deck hits. Didn't penetrate though. Definitely be bringing some high explosive, I think. Let's get all guns on target if we can. Pretty maneuverable. I feel like I'm in a heavy cruiser. I mean, there are definitely some sliders and stuff going on here, but that's okay. Wee! Take those. Wow. Pretty, pretty amazing. <laughs> Dude, I love this guy. He's just having a ball. After this spawn, yo, leave it to the Helena. Just be like, I'm okay. Just leave me alone. Okay, he has 70% crew. Inbound! We got slow reload right now. Oh, there he goes. Okay, he's taking, he's taking some hits. I don't oh, he's got bombs on him. We're going to assume that that guy is going to go down. Okay, and guns on the other German SMS. Oof, big hits. Let's go with this. Now we're in a fight. All guns open. Eighty-one. We've got we've got two two battleships here. Oh, you can see where they're going through too. Open up. Still waiting for mine to reload. Now, I don't think this is the best time to use Hesh just because um not Hesh. We need to switch to AP just because of the angles we're firing at. Gonna hit on the turret though. Oh, just over. The battle's actually lasting a lot shorter than I thought it would. I've seen um, like Edmund, Emden class battles last quite some time. This, is, this feels good. This really does. I know I'm getting my butt pushed in, but just because I, I'm, I haven't been shooting correctly, and this guy's really putting a hurting on. You gotta fire now. The Helena got me. 
Yes! Yes! Destroy the Helena! Big hit into really nothing. I think I need to hit more for the bridge. Oh, I got guns shooting on both sides. Okay, let's try for a really good hit here. That's looking really good. Now, War Thunder, all I'm asking is we need a Battlefield 1 explosion. He, right, he's right dead? Right it's dead, it's dead. Got it. What? This is, this is a lot less tanky than I thought it was going to be, which is a good thing. Oh, could the Harrier land on my jet? <laughs> On my boat? We got one guy cr creeping. Guns are moving, guns are moving. Yes, fly, coming for the victor. Hey, come back here. Okay, disregard that. We're gonna help our North Dakota, sorry. Saying North and not Carolina is just like weird. Okay, swinging the ship around. Water updates as well, it feels like. A lot more foam. I think it's kind of foobar going after the, the Helena, but and it's not that interesting. Okay, let's aim here. Hmm, good shot. They, they range correctly. Ooh. Yeah, it felt good. Maybe a little bit too high. Okay, we're going to have the secondaries open up. Maybe take a, a shot at the Helena. We've got Hesh on the 150 millimeters, so they, they should be able to pepper that thing pretty well. There goes the Harrier. The Harrier's oh, sunken. I, I need to get his ammo rack though. Right there. A pretty far ahead shot, but it might get the job done. Ooh, fire. Guys, sing the song. Sing the song. I'm really enjoying this right now though. It's not as ridiculous as I thought it was gonna be. This guy's like, how dare you? Penetrate my ship. Really good below water hits there. We've got some battleships here. God, the Helena looks like it's firing a sea whiz off. Go up, go up, go up. And right uh, there. Going full broadside. Wow. We're getting really good shots at close range. Up oh, secondaries. Please open up on the Helena. <laughs> oh, I think something's damaged on my ship. Let's see how much crew I lose in one of his salvos. Like two. Wow. It's a very efficient ship. We got to go for the ammo rack or we're dead. Okay, we're on to uh, this the other round, whatever you want to call it. 
Too low, too low. Now this is a World War I class ship going against one heck of a fire control ship right there. Kind of wish it was just the battleships. Oh, that ship just tears you apart. Please do something. Oh, perfect shot. Still got 22% crew in there. Okay, good. This might work. Our team's firing on the uh, Helena. This is the hardest ship to kill. <laughs> and it's got no armor. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Wow. You would think that ship would like be kind of squishy, but it's just not. Okay, so that's a good feeling for how the uh, the battleships will work. It's going to be interesting to see how the cruisers line up because this one does not have HE to deal well with soft targets. Because this will still overpen. You got to realize that that Helena um, has absolutely no armor. So, uh, but you would think it would pen that, hit something, and then it completely annihilate it. But uh, not right now. But uh, against other battleships, it was it was working quite well. Got to say, I'm excited. It's just going to be weird using battleships against <laughs> those. Fellas, hope you've enjoyed. Have a good day. See you tomorrow with more Dev Server videos. Peace out.